to set the record straight by debunking some common myths and offering a clearer picture of what trauma is all about. Hey folks, welcome back to our corner of the internet. Jay, I'm here. And I'm Valérie. Today, we're digging deep into a topic that affects so many lives, trauma. It's important that we all have a better understanding of trauma, so we can be supportive friends, family members, and allies. Couldn't agree more. So let's jump right in and butt these myths one by one. Myth number one, only weak people can experience trauma. This myth couldn't be further from the truth. Trauma doesn't pick and choose who its effects based on strength or weakness. It's something that can happen to anyone, regardless of how tough they appear. You're absolutely right, Valerie. Even some history's most admired figures have experienced trauma and their strengths and resilience shown through. Myth number two, trauma only happens from big events. Nope, that's not accurate. Trauma isn't just about massive life altering event. It can stem from various situations like sudden accident, ongoing issues, and even witnessing distressing events. That's a great point, JM. Trauma can also result from cumulative experiences like long-term abuse or being in an environment where violence is prevalent. Myth number three, trauma only messes with your head and heart. Another misconception here. Trauma doesn't limit itself to mental and emotional effects. It can have real physical impact to people who've experienced trauma may deal with chronic pain, heart problem, and other physical issues. Myth number four, only the person with trauma feels its effects. That's not true at all. Trauma's effects can ripple outward and impact the people around the survivor, like families, friends, and communities can all be affected, sometimes in profound ways. Myth number five, only big things can cause trauma. Uh-uh, no, not the case. Trauma isn't just limited to major incidents. Everyday struggle like persistent stress or dealing with discrimination can lead to trauma too. It's not about the size of the event, but how it affects an individual. Myth number six, Everyone who goes through trauma get PTSD. That's a common misconception. While PTSD is a common response to trauma, it's not the only possible outcome. People react differently, and some might not develop PTSD at all. Myth number seven, therapy solves trauma easily. <laughs> not quite. While therapy can be incredibly helpful, Healing from trauma is a complex process. It takes time, effort, and often a combination of different approaches to truly recover. Myth number eight, only grown-ups deals with trauma. Nope, no age restriction on this one. Trauma can really affect anyone, from kids, teenagers, to adults. It's a mis misconception that only grown-ups have to deal with it. Myth number nine, remembering trauma means remembering every details. That's not always the case. People who have been through trauma may not recall every single details. Sometimes memories can be fragmented or they may use coping mechanism like dissociation to protect themselves just like I was doing, you know? Myth number 10, Trauma survivors are broken forever and ever. Absolutely not true. Trauma survivors are incredibly resilient. With time, effort, support, they can heal and grow from their experiences. They're not forever broken. That's a good news. Myth number 11. 
You can always spot someone with trauma. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, you may not even know someone has gone through trauma just by looking at them. Trauma isn't always visible. It's not written on her forehead. It can be hidden beneath the surface, especially if it's caused by ongoing situation like abuse. Myth number 12. Medicine can fix trauma by itself. Mm, that's not the whole story. While medication can be a big part of the healing journey, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Treating trauma often involves a combination of therapies, support networks, and self-care. Myth number 13. People with trauma always want to talk about it. This is an important one. Not everyone who experienced trauma is ready or willing to talk about it. It's essential to respect their boundaries and give them the space if they need it. There you have it, friends. We've tackled these myths head on to give you a better understanding of what trauma is really about. And remember, empathy and understanding go a long way in helping those who've experienced trauma. If you found this information useful, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your circle, and subscribe for more insightful conversation. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>